Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and welcome to your third video tutorial on Skeleton. Um, so in this one, I want to take you through some of the typography and um, how to actually use it and also change the font size. That way it's going to be relative to the entire web page and not just um, for each individual element. So um, basically Skeleton gives you um, a few things. Um, you have all the headings here. Um, you get paragraph tag and some other basic styles for strong, italics, colored, and underlined. Um, so it's going to go inside um, this HTML file here and just replicate some of this stuff right here. Um, so inside here, let's just begin by creating a container um, with, uh, with a few columns. So make a new div here with a class of container. Um, we'll have a row. Inside here, we're going to have... Um, a five and seven column layout. So we'll say five columns. Um, here we'll just put some um, just some headings. So we'll say H2 and we'll say typography. And let's also do a let's do a H, uh, H4. Okay, put decode inside here. I'll put a paragraph as well, okay, with some dummy text inside there. Okay, so we can just go down here now and make a new column. We'll say seven columns, and this will contain um, an H5. We'll say decode on YouTube, and all of the um, the bold, italic, link, and um, underline text. So we can just say a new P, put strong inside here, and we'll say this will be the bold text. And we'll have a few more for um, underline. This will be your U, uh, your italics. Will be the EM emphasized and we have the link itself or the links so we make those the anchor tags All right so now I can just save this and refresh my browser and I get this right here okay so we have obviously a lot of typography here now um, the thing about skeleton is that all of these elements use um, the units REM so root M's and this means um, the actual font size of these elements is based off the root element. So it's all relative to the HTML element. Now what this means is if you were to change the font size of your HTML element, it's going to change everything else relative to that font size. So um, inside Skeleton right now in the actual uh, source code, the HTML element has a font size of 62.5%. And this equates to 10 pixels because most browsers have a 16px default. If you multiply or if you do 62.5% of 16, you will get 10. So um, the base font size for Skeleton is 10px. And as you can see here, all of the H1s and the H2s, their font sizes are relative um, to the root. So we have here for H1, it is 4REM. That means it's going to be 4 times 62.5% or 4 times 10px, equating to 40px. Okay, so this means once again, if you were to change the font size here, it's going to change all, um, all the elements on this page. So um, inside the HTML, let's just go inside the style here and change the font size inside the HTML. So we're going to say a font size of 20px instead of the current 10px. I can save this and refresh and we get this right here. So everything has been enlarged. Now I can also make it, you know, for example, 8px and this time it's all going to be smaller, but they get smaller at the same ratio. They're all relative to the 8px um, font size set inside there. All right. And that is how typography works in Skeleton. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.